see. You're so big now. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. Before we get into the video, I wanna let you know that I'm doing seven days of Christmas on my Instagram page. I am giving away a ton of new makeup, skincare, PJs, gift cards, a ton of stuff for seven days. So don't miss out. I will leave my Instagram linked below. I'm always happy to give back, especially this time of year. Anyways, if you wanna see how I get flawless skin during the winter when my skin is super dry, this is my winter makeup skin routine. So let's get started. My lips are so dry, they feel like they're about to bleed and that's why they're red. Anyways, so I felt like taking a break last month from YouTube, so I did. And now we're back doing the damn thing. I also felt like using just daylight for my lighting today, so no studio lights. We'll see how that goes. Sorry if it goes in and out. I just couldn't be bothered setting like all my lights up and stuff. And I kind of just want this to be like a casual video. Okay, first thing I do lately is obviously moisturize. I already have some on from like an hour ago, but I'm gonna put more on because my skin is so dry. I'm gonna use the Belief True Cream Aqua Balm. This stuff is one of my favorites for when my skin is like literally cracking and peeling off. I feel like it's one of the only moisturizers that I have that actually gives me like lasting hydration. It looks really nice under makeup. It kind of seals down all my dry flakes if I have any. So I love this for when I'm super dry. So I'm just gonna be showing you guys my skin and makeup routine for the winter time. It's way different than my summer one, obviously because my skin is dry. So obviously I adjust my products according to how my skin is feeling. So during the winter, I love using really hydrating luminous foundations. My two favorite ones for that are the Makeup Forever HD Stick, the OG. This one is full coverage and is very hydrating and it doesn't separate, which is why I love this so much. And then I'm just gonna mix in a few of the, a few drops of the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. The Dior foundation is very sheer, but I love mixing this with other foundations, just a few drops. It gives you like the most beautiful, luminous finish. I'm not sure if that makes sense. It gives you like a skin-like finish. Hopefully you'll be able to see what I mean. So I'm just gonna apply directly to my face. Since this is a stick foundation, it's kind of hard to mix them like on your hand. So I just, oh shit, that went on my carpet. <laughs> Ah, I love a good spill this early in the morning, <laughs> as I was saying. So I just basically go like this, just a few little dots. And then when I buff it all together, it mixes on my face. That way I don't have to mix it on my hand. You can use a beauty blender to mix all this. It's just easier if you have a flat brush like this. I definitely do put a lot less foundation on my forehead now because thanks to my dad I have um, forehead lines and I don't know if I want to get Botox, probably not yet, but it settles in like the foundation after a few hours so try to put as little as possible. This is the time when I like to do all my color correcting and I really love this Charlotte Tilbury color corrector. It's like a peachy, really soft color corrector in the shade number two. So I'll just put this where I have discoloration, which is under my eye right here. It's very subtle. Like I love that it's not freaking bright orange. So on my scars, I don't know if you can tell, but it instantly gives you like a brightening effect. And then you put obviously concealer on top and it looks flawless. But don't forget to kind of blend it out first. So a few weeks ago when I was trying to figure out what products to use for my new dry ass skin, I actually pulled out my old MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This stuff used to be like everything to me and it worked perfectly, like it didn't dry out my under eyes. So I've been using my MAC Pro Longwear and it works amazing and it reminds me of why I loved it so much. I just hate that it doesn't have an applicator. Why can't they redo this and give me an applicator? Because this is, I don't like pumping things out and then having to apply it. It's just annoying for the under eye. My under eyes are a lot drier. So I like to use a sponge. Then I like to put warmth back into my skin. I'm gonna use the ColourPop blush stick. I'm actually gonna put some on my brush and it gives you a really pretty like luminous finish as well. See that? I feel like it looks so good. Do you see how my skin is just glowing? It does not look dry in any way, which is the goal here. Do you guys wanna know my favorite moment in my makeup routine? It's right here. It's right before I set everything. I love this look right here. Like I just look like I just drank 10 gallons of water and I look so hydrated and glowy. But I have to set it, 
sadly, because if I don't, this is gonna slide around. My skin isn't that dry to where I don't have to set it, but I do set it really lightly with some powder. So I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish in the shade Fair. One thing I don't do in this routine is bake anymore because that, that would just bring out all the crusty skin back out again. So, and one thing I will say, I would rather look oily than dry and crusty and flaky. Once you've set everything, a really good tip is to spray your face down with some sort of um, fixing mist. This one is just the MAC Fix Plus. It's good for dry skin, so it's not going to give you like a matte finish. And it's also good to spray if you've over powdered. That way you melt in all your powders. This for me is an essential step. And this one is rose scented. Oh, so nice. Before that settles, I like to quickly highlight, and I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Baked Highlighter in the shade 01. It's cute. Why am I dropping things today? Is it broken? Oh, it's alive. <laughs> Since I'm just doing a skin tutorial, I am gonna finish like my eyes and stuff off camera towards the end, but I got some new goodies in that I really wanna try on camera for the very first time. The Makeup by Mario and K KKW collab. Again, dropping everything. So I did order the lip kit, like the lipstick, gloss, and lip liner, and just the blush. I think the palette was sold out when I went to go order. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna use the blush first. I love the packaging, look how cute. So for the blush, they have a picture of him applying the blush on her. For the lip liner, it's a picture of him applying the lip liner on her. For the lipstick, same thing. And then for the gloss, same thing. I love this packaging, it's so cute. I already swatched everything, so I do love the colors. I am gonna be trying the blush for the very first time. Why is this not opening? This is actually pretty hard to open. So when I got the blush, I was like, why is it, isn't it tiny? I feel like it just seems really small, but whatever. This is the shade Very Graceful. It's a very nice uh, pinky peach, which is very Kim K. I feel like I'm gonna love it though. Yeah, that's really cute. I love me a good rosy peach blush. I'm gonna do something with my eyes off camera and then we'll come back and we'll finish off with the lipstick. Say hello. You're so big now. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just did a simple eye, no lashes, a little wing liner. I used the Bare Necessities ColourPop palette. This is a nice palette. It's huge. I love big palettes like this. Okay, let's do the lips. I'm really excited. I'm gonna use all three and the lip liner is called Beauty Icon. Oh, nice. I was worried it was gonna be too dark. So easily. Are you trying to get off? Come here. Got you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Got you. Okay, so that's the lip liner. I actually really like it. I do wanna compare it to my MAC Strip Down. This is the MAC Strip Down, and then this is the KKW. Almost identical. The KKW one is like a hint darker. Now for the lipstick, it's called He's a Mixer. Now I'm gonna top it off with the gloss. It's called Proud of You. The gloss, I really like, like the shade. Yeah, that is nice. Oh, it's so good. That's a cute combo. I'm gonna spray my face one more time. And we're done. Okay, here's a closer look. I love how it turned out. Definitely can't tell that I have dry skin. And that's the goal. So I think we achieved that. I do really love the blush and lip combo. I think it's magnifique. Very Kim K and I am definitely gonna keep using it. I think this might become my new nude combo, so. Okay, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did, subscribe. Also, don't forget about the giveaways that I'm doing on my Instagram page. Don't miss out, they are really big giveaways and I'm really excited about them. I'll leave my Instagram linked below and I'll see you guys in my next video.